I'm going to do a Titleist demo day. A lot of people get intimidated about doing a test. The main reason I'm doing I've been playing a PXG Generation 1, and I've got, I'm so worn out, I've got like rings inside of my rings here on the 7 iron. So I'm ready for a new set. And I played with Titleist my whole career, and I use a TS3 driver that I love. I'm thinking about getting into a three wood. Titleist has three different sets of irons now. The way, the way it goes now with golf clubs is you can get some wedges that are super, you know, custom, and then you can get some short irons that are just the right look, and then as you go into the long irons, you can change, you know, sets and get these ball to do what you want. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna test all that today. I'm not gonna be all about ball speed like the young guys, I'm 58, but what I am gonna be looking at is I'm gonna be looking at spin rate and at the, right now, you're not going to know anything about spin. By the end of this video, I promise you, you'll know everything you need to know about how to get fitted. I'm looking at how much spin is good on a 7 iron and the peak of its trajectory. I want to know what the angle of descent is. It's got to be greater than 45 degrees, otherwise it won't stop on the green. So I'm, I'm going to turn the track man on. I'm going to turn it on to how much spin is coming off each iron. I'm looking at the height they get and the trajectory coming in. And then when I get to the woods, I kind of want something different. I want the spin to be low enough so the trajectory is under 40 degrees. So instead of 45 degrees coming in with a nine iron or an eight iron with a driver, I want that number under 40 degrees so it'll roll once it hits the fairway. So all these clubs, all these balls are made now for sort of optimum launch conditions. I'm looking you know, the Titleist ball I've played my whole career. The optimum spin conditions is about 2,500 spin. Doesn't matter if you don't know what that is, but if I launch a ball at 10 degrees launch with my driver at 2,500 spin, that's about as far, that's about as long as that ball can hold in the air at whatever speed. So there's optimum conditions to make the ball go the furthest for me. So I'm looking for accuracy, I'm looking for spin conditions, and I'm looking for something that looks really cool looking. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing.